Hello everyone, welcome back to Nitcrow Addict channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this beautiful bag here. I also have step by step written instruction. It's available at nitcrowaddict.com. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. I hope you enjoy. Here is the materials that I use for this project. For this project, I use two colors of paper yarn. This is 100% paper. It's very interesting yarn. I never used this kind of yarn before. This is my first time. Have you used 100% paper yarn before? If you have, please comment below. I would love to know what you make out of this kind of yarn. So yeah, anyways, this is gonna be my color A. This is green color. And this one, my color B. This one, sage color. Okay, so in each ball is have about 230 meter, so it is about 250 yards. So for color A, I use about 150 yards, and color B, I use about 120 yards. So on the chop, it say this is two ply yarn, two millimeter. Okay, if you want to substitute yarn, you can do that as well. But for me personally, I think this yarn is perfect for this bag. All right, and I also use 2.5 millimeter crochet hook, scissors, stitch marker, and yarn needle. And let's talk about the back set here. So for the back set, it's come separate with the yarn, okay? So in this back set, it's have the bottom here. The bottom measurement, it is about 9 inches long this way and then three inches this way. And also come with the flap, also the strap. The strap is adjustable, which is very cool. So this set in color green. All right, I'm gonna put the link to the bag material in the description below. Before we start, I wanna talk about this bag pattern a little bit. So let's talk about the measurement first. So the circumference of this bag, it is about 23 inches, okay? And in the length from the bottom to here, it is about eight inches, all right? If you want taller or shorter, you can do that as well. Just make more rows or less row. And I use very basic stitch for this bag. So I just used a single crochet stitch very easy but I want to tell you first this yarn is a little bit hard on your hand you just need to take your time so I like to crochet a few rounds and then I take a break like that you know and then come back and then crochet a few rounds and take a break it's very interesting yarn I love how it look after I finish this bag I'm very happy with it but like I said, it's a little bit hard on your hand. So yeah, I just want to let you know that. And let's see the inside. So to open the flap here, you just turn like that and then open. And here the inside. And I saw my tag logo in there as well. Here what the inside looks like. And I'm not going to make a lining for my bag. But if you want to make a lining for your bag, I have step-by-step -step video tutorial how to make a lining for your crochet bag or knitting bag. I'm going to put the link in the description below. But for me, I'm very happy just like this. Here's the inside. It's pretty deep. Alright. And then I'm going to close it like this. And here is on the bag. I sew this flap like this. And this is the strap. The strap is adjustable. You can make it longer or shorter, totally up to you. I think it's very cool. Here's the bottom. All right, let's get started. Okay, I have my beige here ready to crochet. So first, I want you to place the right side facing you, okay? We're gonna crochet in round on the right side. So this is the right side of the beige. 
this is the wrong side it's gonna be the inside of the bag okay turn the right side facing you and then I bring my color A I'm gonna use color A first and I'm gonna make three single crochet into each hole around so for my bait I have 32 holes and I should have 96 stitches around and now you can insert the hook any hole you prefer all right but first I'm gonna make a slip knot first and then insert my hook into that slip knot and then after that I insert the hook right into this hole and then yarn over hook go up a loop two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through those two loops this is my first single crochet and then I place my stitch marker into the first single crochet and then I'm gonna make two more single crochet into the same hole so this part is can be a little difficult because it's gonna be pretty tight just take your time okay so I insert the hook into the same hole insert the hook into the same hole I also work over this tail as well so I reap the end as I go okay and then yarn over hook go up a loop take your time like that two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through those two loops and one more single crochet into the same hole insert the hook into the same hole yarn over hook go up a loop two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through those two loops so right now I have three single crochet into the same hole and then I gonna make three single crochet into the next hole so insert the hook into the next hole and then yarn over hook pull up a loop two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through those two loops okay single crochet into the same hole And one more single crochet into the same hole oops okay okay that's what it's look like so far and we're gonna keep making three single crochet into each hole around I show you one more hole <laughs> so next hole here I insert the hook there and make a single crochet And then two more into the same hole. Oops, see? Sometimes it's a little difficult. Take your time. One more. Like that okay here's what it's look like so far all right so here are the tips that I think is work good so you can also use the hook to insert the hole and make it a little bigger so that way it's easier for you to crochet into that hole all right if you need to use the bigger hook just to make the hole bigger feel free to do that that helps all right i'm gonna keep making three single crochet into each hole around and i will be back when i'm at the end of round one good luck and take your time it's just gonna be this round that is gonna be difficult okay all right <laughs> i will be back i'm at the end of round one here and i have a total of 96 stitches around okay and then for round two we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around we're gonna work in spirals so we're not gonna slip stitch when we end the round and we're not gonna chain one to start new round we're just gonna keep a single crochet into each stitch around okay i'll show you 
So to start round two, I'm gonna make one single crochet into the first stitch there, the marker stitch. Gonna remove the stitch marker first and then insert the hook into that stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and make a single crochet. And then place this stitch marker into the first stitch in every round. And then single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. And single crochet into the next stitch. Alright, I'm gonna keep making one single crochet into each stitch around. And I will be back when I'm at the end of round two. I'm at the end of row two here and I have the same. 96 stitches around because I'm not increased or decreased. And for round three to round 20, I gonna repeat round two. Just make one single crochet into each stitch around with color A. Okay, very easy. I gonna show you a few stitches on round three here. So first, remove the stitch marker and then make the first single crochet into that stitch. And then always replace the stitch marker into the first stitch in every round. All right, and then make one single crochet into the next stitch. And then single crochet into the next stitch. And then single crochet into the next stitch. 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 Single crochet into the next. Like that. Just repeat round two. Okay? Here's what it looks like so far. Alright, I gonna keep repeating round two until I have 20 rounds. And I will be back when I'm at the end of round 20. And every round, you're gonna have the same amount of these stitches because we not increased or decreased. And don't forget to place the stitch marker back into the first stitch in every round. Alright? Alright, I will be back when I'm at the end of round 20. Good luck. Okay, now I have 20 rounds of my color A here. And next, I'm gonna chain to my color B. So this is the last stitch on round 20. Okay, so next I'm just gonna cut the yarn. And you can change the color any method you prefer. So I cut the yarn, leave a little bit of tail, just enough to whip the end. So after I cut the yarn, I pull the yarn out like that. And then I bring my yarn needle and insert the tail to my yarn needle. And then I'm gonna skip the next stitch, which is the marker stitch and then insert my needle into the next stitch, like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna remove this stitch marker. Bring it in. And then I'm gonna insert the needle back to the last single crochet here, where the tail come from. And then bring it in. Insert and bring it in, like that. See, this stitch, we just create this stitch. That's why we skip one stitch. 
you skip the marker stitch. I like this way, it makes the stitches really smooth. Alright. And then I'm gonna weave the end later. And now I'm gonna add the color B. So I just gonna insert my hook into that stitch that we just created, which is the marker stitch before. Okay, it's gonna be the first stitch on round 21. So I insert the hook there, bring the color B, hold it on the back, and then yarn over, go up a loop, and chain one. The chain one doesn't count at a stitch, so I'm gonna make one single crochet into the same stitch. So insert the hook into the same stitch, yarn over, go up a loop, and make a single crochet. Okay, this is my first single crochet on round 21. And then place this stitch marker back. Always place this stitch marker into the first stitch in every round. And then make a single crochet into the next stitch. I also weave this end as I go, so I'm gonna work over that end. You don't have to do that, totally up to you. So insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and make a single crochet. And then single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. Alright, that's what it looks like so far. You're gonna keep making one single crochet into each stitch around. It's the same pattern, but just chain color. I just wanna show you how I chain color. All right, and I'll be back when I'm at the end of round 21. I'm at the end of round 21 here, and I have the same 96 stitches around because I'm not increase or decrease. And now, we're just gonna keep repeat the same pattern, just repeat round two. Just make a single crochet into each stitch around over and over. So I gonna keep repeating round two until I reach the end of round 36 with the color B. Basically, I gonna use color B for 16 rounds, all right? Now, if you want shorter or longer back, Feel free to make less round or more round. Totally up to you. So, I'm gonna show you a little bit on round 22 here. So I remove the stitch marker and then make a first single crochet on round 22 into that stitch. And then don't forget to place the stitch marker back in into the first stitch in every round. And then single crochet into the next stitch and then single crochet into the next stitch and single crochet into the next stitch. See, just repeat round two. Okay, I'm gonna keep repeating round two with color B until I reach the end of round 36 and I will be back. Good luck and take your time. Okay, now I'm at the end of round 36 here, and next I'm gonna cut the yarn and weave the end. And if you want a taller bag, feel free to add more round, okay? So this is about 8 inches tall, okay? So yeah, this is the end of round 36, and then I'm just gonna cut the yarn, leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weave in the end. And after that, I pull my yarn out. Like that, and then weave the end. I bring my yarn needle, insert the tail into my yarn needle there. And then you can weave the end any method you prefer, but I'm gonna show you what I like to do, okay? I'm gonna skip the next stitch, which is the marker stitch, and then insert my needle into the next stitch there. Bring it in. And just gonna remove the stitch marker. That, and then I'm gonna insert my needle back into the last single crochet here. 
where the tail come from and then bring it in like that bring it inside okay and then keep uh, hiding the tail inside the bag all right I'm gonna hide the tail later and here's what it looks like beautiful I like it okay next we're gonna sew the flap here into the bag so I'm gonna measure the flap right at the middle of the bag here so this is gonna be the back side of the bag okay make sure it's in the middle and then I'm gonna sew three rows below count from the last row here so I count one two three and then below that I'm gonna sew the flap into the bag right there and this part is totally up to you if you want uh, like deeper this way feel free to do that or closer to the edge you can do that as well so for me I'm gonna sew three rows below all right I'm gonna show you on the front side here so after you sew it will look like this and then the front side will look like this and then we will talk about this later all right so to sew I cut a uh, color B and I'm gonna use my yarn needle to sew this way it's easier and then I'm gonna cut a new strand of yarn I'm gonna cut about 20 inches I'm gonna cut two pieces I'm gonna hold uh, this two strand of yarn together to make it strong stronger <laughs> so yeah I have two pieces here and then I'm gonna insert those two pieces of yarn into my yarn needle like that and then I'm gonna start sewing and before you sew make sure again that it's nice and even okay so I think right now it's perfect and then I'm gonna insert my needle from the inside three rows below should be right here so one two three and then below that and then insert into the first hole of my flap here and then bring it in this part can be kind of tight Okay, and leave a little bit of tail just enough to it in the end later inside the bag and then insert into the next hole here and then check make sure it's the same line on the bag okay so it should be right here hope you can see so it should be right here okay I'm gonna insert that and then come inside the bag right here bring it in like that and then insert from the inside to the outside make sure the same line so see this is the same line and then insert into the next hole of the flap there sorry it's difficult to show on the camera here <laughs> okay okay and then I'm gonna insert into the next stitch here next hole and then insert into the bag there make sure the same line it's very important okay and then bring it in and then bring it in inside the bag like that and then I'm gonna keep doing that over and over until the end but make sure you shake as you go take your time so I'm gonna show you a couple more times here so next stitch should be around here so I just skip about three stitches in between the um, 
pencil here. So insert here, bring it out. Like that. And then next stitch here. And then make sure the same line. And then bring it in. Like that. Okay? I'm gonna keep sewing until the end. Okay, now I sew till the end here. Here's what it looks like. And I'm really happy with it. So next, you just need to weave the end. But before you weave the end, make sure you're happy with uh, how it looks. You know, if you need to adjust a little bit to make it nice and even, feel free to do that. Okay, so... I'm really happy with this. So next, I'm just gonna weave the end inside the bag. And I'm not gonna show you how to weave the end because I'm pretty sure you know how to weave the end. <laughs> so yeah, just weave the end inside the bag, weave all the ends, and I will do that later. And next, we're gonna talk about the, the lock here. All right, so next, remove the lock here. If it's too hard, you can use uh, something to help. Scissors or something, some tool. <laughs> okay. You turn like that, and then it'll come out. And now I want you to measure where you like your lock to be. Make sure it's nice and even. So I think around here is good. I don't want this to be too tight, like down like that, or I don't want to be too loose like that. So I think around here would be nice. All right, so I'm gonna place it around here. So I'm just gonna use <laughs> my needle, pinch it there, and then I remove this. And now I know where I want to place my lock. So I'm just going to place it right here where I pin it. Like that. And then make sure again that it's nice and even. Okay, I'm very happy with it. Alright, so now i'm happy with this here's what the inside looks like you see that legs i'm gonna bring this i don't know what you call this but it's come with the uh, flap here so i'm gonna insert like that okay it's difficult to see give me a minute here so i insert like that i hope you can see see so like that and then I just gonna pinch this leg down like that sorry difficult to see on camera so yeah pinch it down and then pinch this leg down as well that's it and I'm not gonna make a lining for my bag because I'm really happy with how it looks. I just want to keep it look like this. And if you want to make a lining for your bag, I have step-by-step -step video tutorial. I'm going to put the link in the description below. And I use that method for almost every bag project that I have. Okay? But I need to cover this part though. Because I don't want it to hurt my hand. This part. So I'm going to use my tag logo <laughs> right here and then I'm gonna sew it in there so for my tag logo I purchased from Etsy but I use my own logo I send them the file and then they make it for me okay I'm gonna put the link in the description below if you wanna know because some of you guys leave a comment where I got this from so I just wanna make sure I cover it so yeah anyways I'm gonna sew it in here later Okay, next I'm just gonna show you how I insert my straps to my bag on the side here. 
So I have my strap here ready to go. And then the hole is pretty small because I use very uh, small hook and the stitches is very tight. So now I use a uh, sci-fi millimeter crochet hook just to like open the hole up a little bit on the side, okay? So I can uh, insert around here, like two rows below. And then right on the side here, I'm gonna uh, insert my hook in there just to open the hole up. Like that. Make sure it's open. If you need a bigger hook, feel free to use that. Whatever you have. It doesn't have to be the hook either, whatever you have to open the hole up a little bit. So I think it's very good here. And then I bring my strap. I insert this hook in there. It's difficult to show on camera. <laughs> there we go. See? Here's what it look like. This is outside, this is inside. And then I'm gonna do the same on the other side here. So make sure it's on the side and then two rows below. Insert my hook there. Okay, bring this hook and then insert into that hole. Like that, that's it. This is the inside. Beautiful. And that's it. I hope you enjoy watching this video and making this beautiful bag. If you did, please give this video a big thumb up and share this video with your friends. And I would love to see everyone's work. If you want to share with me, just text me on Facebook or Instagram at knitcrawedit. I'm going to put all the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.